Wagner's first opera in his ring cycle, Das Rheingold, starts in the River Rhine. As the famous musical comedian Anna Russell put it, not on it, in it. And indeed we're at the bottom of it where lies the famous Rhine gold. Uh, Wagner used what he called light motifs, leading motives, or I like to say uh, guiding motives, throughout the, the, the whole cycle, uh, which are associated with different personality differences, different things, different places, different moods, uh, and they, they recur and give us a kind of sense of where we are in terms of the emotional uh, development of, of the plot. So what I'm going to play to you now is uh, the Rheingold motif itself, which is a very simple kind of arpeggio C major thing. And then the three Rhine maidens who are swimming around the gold guarding it start to sing. And uh, in the fifth bar of what they sing, they sing their own Rheingold motif, which I will indicate to you. So here we go. First of all, the gold motif. Rheingold, Rheingold. And that you will hear many times in the course of the opera. The second and third examples I'm going to play are associated with two very important people in this drama. The first is Wotan. He's the king of the gods, and when we first meet him, he's in very happy mood because he's about to see the completion of the building of his great mountain palace Valhalla, which the giants have built for him. Uh, there is no hint yet of the dramas and uh, disasters to come. So the, here's his serene, very magisterial music. And the other character, who is a very nasty piece of work, we've already, as I say, we've met him because he's been, or maybe I haven't told you that, he's been down looking at the bottom of the Rhine for the gold and trying to get it by uh, kind of flirting with the Rhine maidens who will have nothing of him. Uh, eventually he does steal it, and from it he fashions a ring, a gold ring, which is where all the trouble stems from in the rest of the cycle. And here is the motif, and at the end of it, the, the chords that give us the sense of impending doom that is associated with this curse. Here it is. feel the dreadful sense of foreboding at the end of that. So those are my three things for you to listen for in Rheingold. I could go on forever, but that's, they're only allowing me three. <laughs>